forecast. Note, seeds are given as significant ah! waves, which is the average height of the highest water. Ta-ta for now, clear water. Keep on adding branches to the family tree That we spouted up from the soul sea And that's the reason why our roots grow deep Our roots grow deep, yeah Keep on adding branches to the family tree That we spit it out from the soul sea And that's the reason why our roots run deep Our roots run deep, yeah Plant a seed in the dirt Sun will shine as we were to let it grow strong to help it grow, but we can't do this on our own. So we need help and so family to let it grow strong to help it grow. So what's up, freaky people? Uh, welcome all new viewers and uh, look this episode we're going to take you on a trip from uh, Clearwater, Florida to Boca Grande uh, which is Gasparilla Island. Uh, this trip was really cool for us. It's the first place me and Nikki ever sailed into. Um, special to us for that reason. We got a super cool chill spot there. Yeah we did. <laughs> um, super super chill. I think so. Yeah it's secluded. It's cool. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, a little, little, little quiet little spot. We're going to take you on an overnight sail. So it's the first time that we're actually going to try filming at night. So stay tuned for that. And then we also have a special musician. Uh, we have the Reese Brothers today, and I'm so excited about that. Um, they're actually from my hometown of Clearwater. They're two brothers. They've been playing music forever. They are super, super talented. Yeah, they play great. every instrument that you can think of. Um, and they are awesome yeah, musicians. Yeah. Yeah. So they both sing. They both play all the. Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're kick ass. They're uh, straight. I, yeah. yeah, I Go have check no. Them out. Yeah, they're awesome. Mm -hmm. All the links are going to be down below for them. And I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, come get lost with us. <laughs> We're finally leaving Clearwater. Oh my God, I'm so happy right now. Yeah, I like we left Clearwater, but we seem to coming back ending back up in here and uh, but today we are leaving we're going south finally Boca Grande here we come yeah, sometimes life holds you back and uh yeah we had some stuff we had some stuff, <laughs> yeah. stuff. so we're not even out of Clearwater Pass yet and about to get hit with our first squall um it is what it is about to get wet Get wet. What you gonna do? Or are you gonna be inside and I'm gonna get wet? No, I have a feeling you. I know he's gonna. He'll run inside. Suffer. It's not fun, okay? No fun suffering. 
we ain't got the gold legs for them to go. We're not with the sails up. I can float it out here so we can get that tank back and forth to get out here at this spot. We're talking an hour and a half. Motor straight line out here. Versus having a tank every 20 minutes. Yeah. So, so it is what it is, but. Get on the close haul. Sail down the coast. Um, to Mogul Rondo. Gasparilla Island. I'll tell them about that later. I'm telling them how about how sick I am right now. All right. I've been hearing about it all morning. No, you I have not. Sick you are. <laughs> uh, you are this is like one of three times in my life I think I've ever felt seasick. Bobby's emptying the dinghy of all the water. Buddy, all good. All right, just hold on. Right there for a second. He likes to scare me. I don't like doing it either, man. It's rough. But I had to get the water out of the day. Yep. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yep. Oh dear.
could be. My stomach was hurting. So, it's all good. But I don't wanna say it when I don't know if it's true. I don't wanna say it, take it back and look it through. Take me to your river, let me sing right on your shore. I will not. Yeah. Right on that. Close hop. He didn't want to name, keep the name that he had while he was in the, you know, the town. And uh, so, because his name was Salsa when we first, uh, when he first got him. And so Bobby said, I'm not calling my dog Salsa. <laughs> and so he came up with Sosa because it sounded so similar. And he looks like a Sosa. Doesn't he look like a Sosa? He's a Sosa. All the way he's a Sosa. Sosa. He does not like the camera folks. He is camera shy. Yes, he is. Sosa. Why are you being so shy? Sosa. Face. He said, I don't like it. It's ah, too funny. Mississippi, every hanger that will let me into play. I'm saving all my dollars, I'm gonna cash a train home. The home is wherever you are. Right. night watch tonight and we're doing good we just went through the Tampa Bay shipping channel and we're making great time we're heading about 5.5 5 knots ish and the Milky Way is out and it's beautiful I wish I wish I could get that on camera but it's just not a possibility <laughs> not at the moment but yeah, I just wanted to give you an update, so.
mine last night so I guess I'll do it again today right now the boat's driving itself on 145 ish um, yeah I like it like this when you can trim the sails just right where you can lock the steering wheel down and, and just make little micro adjustments um, but uh, we're five and a half miles from Boca Grande from Clearwater uh, we've been sailing for I don't know 16 18 hours is that about right 16 to 18 hours um, it's right around a 100 mile trip so uh, we did pretty good last night um, I didn't go to sleep till probably about 5 30 or so this morning we got four or five hours Nikki tripping through and got me some sleep because I was I was I was tired like miserably tired um, I was fighting the low wind the angle of the wind was changing on me um, running three, three and a half knots, um, but wind picked back up and uh, we sailed on through. Right now we're running four and a half knots, so it's all good. We, uh, get in the boat grande, get a shower, get uh, get the boat ready for to be on anchor for a couple days, and then um, we'll walk into town at some point and. Um, show everybody what Boca Grande is. The boat's handling well. Um, the boat's operating properly, uh, which is awesome because after all that work we did, it would have been heartbreaking to get out here and um, something go wrong, catastrophic, and end your trip uh, before, you know, before we really got to do this long shakedown cruise. So, because that's basically what this is for us, is a long shakedown cruise. Anyway, um, Water's pretty calm. Uh, hadn't seen a lot of dolphins this trip, which is unusual for us because we usually have them around the boat a lot. But anyway, sails are full, the sun's up, and um, we're chilling like fat cats. Peace out. This is a life I've dreamed. Don't want to float. Down the main street If you believe in what you do You know there's nothing left to Always living my life With no amount to follow And I'm knowing where I'll end up or where I go My heart will follow I'm living a life I'm supposed to Without the pain and without the sorrow Keep on moving forward, following all oh, my echo and dream. Inside you, when the words come out, they just flow right through the visions and the fantasies you kept inside. Well, now you're making them reality, and nothing left to hide. Oh, ain't nothing left to hide. And this is the life I dream. Don't want to float down the main street. All the sails are put away. 
my mainsail's down and we're going in the pass now and we will hook a left and then hook another left and there's a little marina in the area back there over there somewhere is a little marina and we're gonna go over there to Widden's Marina which is the 13th uh, marina ever opened in the state of Florida I think it's uh, established in 1928 and uh, we're gonna go get showers yes we did it we always do it that's how we roll where I go, my heart will follow Living like I'm supposed to Without the pain and without the sorrow But I keep on moving forward Following all my echoing dreams Join our family tree and come get lost with us and love is